So what the guys did in the early days on like even Twitter and now more so on YouTube, they have like full-time creators so that the founders don't even like create content anymore, I think. And it's mostly full-time creators. And, you know, even I, I have them at my disposal as well. And so we can just pump out like content, you know, these, these people are just going to record content all the time. And I think that that's really like the secret to succeeding in, in paid media is just having amazing, a lot of content yeah. and Fuck. distributing like a, a good narrative. Because th this is the, this is why if we want to like break it down, this is why it works is because I don't know, people have this mentality that for somebody to buy software, they're just going to like click an ad and purchase. And like, that's not how it happens. Like, especially yeah, yeah. if your software is worth thousands of, of dollars or, or pounds. What really happens is they probably have to see multiple ads. They're probably going to go to your website. They're probably going to go to like YouTube. They're going to check you out. And so all of these touch points really influence that, that purchase decision. And so the more places you are and the more relevant and kind of potent your, your messages, like via your content, has this halo effect that positively impacts your paid media because people come across your ad and like, oh, I know these guys. You know, I've, I've seen them. I've been watching their YouTube videos or I've, I've seen the founder on LinkedIn. And so the likelihood of them converting from that ad increases significantly. In contrast to that, you're, if you're an absolute nobody like your company, you know, you have minimal social proof, you have minimal brand affinity. Really, you just look like every other product in your category, then totally. you're, you're going to struggle to convert, right? You're going to be paying a lot. You know, your, your acquisition costs are going to be really high. And so, yeah, I think like I'm, I'm a big advocate for this. Like I think if, if you want to succeed in like paid media, you just, you, you need to be out there. You need to be building trust with the market. You need to be, you know, when, for example, if I think of like lead data, although there are so many providers out there, I think of the big ones. I think of like Apollo who has so much community engagement. I think of Cognizant who has a really good content engine. You know, I think of like, you know, the, the incumbents like Zoom Info, Lusha, although Zoom, Zoom Info is kind of getting a bit of shade at the moment. But, and the reason why I think of them is because they're everywhere. You know, they they put such an effort into demand creation. So totally. yeah, it, it's just, it's, it's a big unlock, I think. I think you're going to have to as well, right? Like it's easier than ever to build software. Like we see competitors spun up that are like direct clones of what we're building on a, you know, weekly basis at this point some indie hacker over a weekend can hack together like an API wrapper with a tailwind front end, right? Like mm -hmm. it's the only way that like you're going to be able to differentiate and be like, okay, the trust is built into this company is to have that media that you've produced. We've just like started to really double down on like influencer marketing in particular, um, largely like on YouTube, just because we've seen that uh, like that's where like our audience goes for educational material. And so, it, you know, to your point, like it's, it's this, there's a trust that's built into that when it's like, oh, I see 20 different people that have all done like videos on this like software. So it's not just like some new thing, right? It's like a way to zero to one brand and a totally like, I honestly, like every early stage founder I talk to at this point, I'm like, you have to have some type of content as like your mechanism. Like if you're trying to build brand that has trust where it's like the purchasing decision time horizon is long, like in like B2B SaaS is where, you know, I mean, we're, I mean, we're in a deal right now where it's like we've been talking to them for like six months, right? And like that's like normal, yeah, yeah. right? Like it's going to take that long for some of these like newer things. But we have to figure out ways to like interact with them during that whole period. Like how are we interacting with the team? And like yeah. content has been the vehicle for that, right? Like yeah. we basically have like, you know, we targeted all of them on like across all social channels. And then we're mm -hmm. just like running basically like testimonial ads and like tutorial mm -hmm. videos and like, you know all this stuff to them so that we can stay top of mind and like just show like, oh, this is a real company that's like present in the market. And yeah, I, I, I think that this, this, like we're in this transactional moment previously, like, you know, even five years ago with like Google ads, it's like you just turn them on and get signups, right? And like less and less is happening in that space now. I think it's mm -hmm. like more and more you're going to have to double down. And it's, and it, I mean, it makes sense, right? Like D2C is always like in front of B2B and like we're just mm -hmm. like following the, the, the the coattails of mm. D2C. And like, they've been doing this for forever. Like, so of course it's going to work in this space, but mm. like, that's the arbitrage currently. It's also just that, I think for a lot of people, it's a fucking headache is like, how do I produce, you know, content for all of these channels that I'm supposed to be on? And they're like yeah. trying to figure out, okay, like what are the one or two things I can do? Or they just like, they go like everywhere and it makes no impact because they're doing too much rather than just like focusing on like one of them. But I'm curious, like, how do you, how are you, are, how are you guys doing content? Is it like just you or is it like, do you have team members or like, what are kind of the trends that you're seeing 
especially in like the service business space, like to communicate and like be present and on in top of mind on for like, you know, lead gen. 